Hey guys, welcome to Knee Sergeants. So my name is Nick Sargents and today what I'm going to talk about is the best tracks that I recommend for increasing your hip mobility and to really improve the biomechanics through that hip which will then translate down into the leg. So this is what this stretch is for is for anyone that is suffering with kind of hip or pelvic pain, even back pain potentially as well, but also any kind of kneecap or patella tracking disorders and any kind of running injury down to the lower leg. So basically you sit on like a raised platform like this, if you have a table or a couch or a chair that's high so your feet are off the ground, that's ideal. You then place one leg on the opposite knee, stabilize that leg, hand on the knee, and all you're simply doing is you're pushing the knee down this way and you then lean to the opposite side or a little bit of a twist. So it's like a side shift and a twist or one or the other. With the hand that's pushing down, you're holding for about five seconds you can also push the knee, like pull your own knee upwards at the same time, so there's like a resistance. So then you're matching that resistance, holding for about three to four seconds, releasing, going deeper into the stretch, holding again, releasing, deep into the stretch. And you really want to feel the stretch on the, the outside of the leg. If you're feeling anything through the inside or into the back, that's no good. We don't want that. We really want to focus through that hip joint to really lubricate, to lubricate the capsule so there's no kind of restrictions or adhesions or stiffness through the joint so that leg can function nice and smoothly through gait and through kind of running and walking or whatever exercise you're doing. So it's very important you don't hold that stretch for longer than five seconds because it is quite strong and then of course because it is rehab exercise you want to make sure you're doing both sides evenly so you're not favoring any particular side. And about two or three times a day is ideal if you are suffering from an injury. So that's kind of the best exercise I you know, recommend for anyone with kind of hip, lower back or knee pain. I obviously prescribe lots more exercises, but that's kind of the, the, the initial go-to one that I usually suggest. If you have any more questions or you want to ask me a personal question uh, about your own complaint, send me an email at nick at kneesargent.com. And then there's also a few other knee protocols and hip pro, uh, protocols over on my website that you can check out for free. And if you like, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like below and uh, if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.